okay so the next is if a noun ends with a y and the y has a consonant before it its plural form is formed by changing the y into i e s now it means that if a noun ends with a y now here this noun city it's ending with the alphabet y and we know that y is a consonant it is a non vowel sound so if these type of words if we find then how do you how will you convert it into plural form you will convert it by adding i e s if the noun ends with y here the city the word city is ending with which letter y and y is a consonant got it so how will you convert it into plural form you'll convert it into plural form by adding i e s in the end similarly with country here y so r i e s diary y d i a r i e s ferry ferries family families okay now next is if the noun ends with a vowel plus minus y its plural is formed by adding s so it see now look here this word story here y is a consonant now just before this consonant what is this e over here e is a vowel sound similarly joy y is consonant and o is a vowel sound so when you find any these type of words that means if the noun ends with a vowel plus minus y its plural is formed by adding s so it's ending with consonant y but just after the consonant it has a vowel sound so if you find these type of words then the plural how the plural form will be made it will be made by adding s at the end of the consonant so story will become stories joy joys valley valleys got it and another thing about these examples are that all these words are of with sound it is of vowel sounds story joy joy then valley e donkey again e so when it has when a word has a vowel sound that means you have to add s to transform it into plural form now next is some of the nouns are changed internally to for to convert it into plural form and most of these words they don't apply any rule they are just changed by their spelling basically when we convert into plural form for example the goose became geese tooth became teeth foot became feet so here there's no particular rule that is given to change these types of words into plural form it just get changed by their spellings next now the next is if a noun consists of several words compound nouns the s is added to the main word now what do you understand by compound noun compound nouns are the nouns made up of two or more words playground class plus room classroom then dining plus table dining table okay so here when you when there is a compound noun 
how do you convert those compound nouns into plural see by adding s to the main word you don't have to add s in all the compound words but you have to add s in the main word only for example son in law so this son is the main word so sons in law now maid servant servant is the main word so maid servants commander in chief so commander is the main word so commanders in chief so this is how you convert compound nouns into compound nouns uh, singular into plural by adding s to the main word so we'll see just the quick revision of this chapter this part of the chapter you can read it on your own just for your knowledge and we can do it once the school reopen but so far you just study just from beginning from here to here till where i have taught now a quick revision of what we have done nouns number two types of numbers singular and plural singular talks about one thing whereas plural talks about more than one thing we studied about different methods of transforming singular noun into plural noun just go through the video carefully and whatever the method is given just follow that method and the given exercises please practice and in the next part of the video in the home assignment i'll be giving you the exercises of this chapter and if you have any doubt please contact me through my whatsapp number that i have given thank you and take care